welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. This is the first time I'm doing a road trip. I am heading towards Ogdensburg down the uh, 416 and I'm going to pick up a shipment of fish. This is the test shipment I'm getting from uh, Michael's Fish Room. I'm getting, uh, well I ordered 18, but according to uh, some of the videos I've watched, uh, I think he's sending me 20. Uh, these are tangerine platies. And I'm <laughs> bringing a, uh, a bottle of, I'm sorry, bottle, a bucket of uh, aquarium water. Hey! Because they've been in transit for uh, three days. And he shipped them on Monday. It's now Thursday afternoon. And I am kind of concerned about it because uh, I've never had a, a shipment of fish in transit for that long. So this video is going to be about, first off, my uh, trip there and how much of a pain and you know what uh, going through customs is. Uh, trying to get fish back according to everything I've uh, gotten off their site and everything I've heard, it shouldn't be a problem. But then again, anytime you go through any of these sort of security places, it all depends on who you have and uh, who, like I say, who's on duty or whatever. I suspect that uh, I will not have any trouble going through the southbound way because there's I have nothing with me and there's uh, uh, nothing for them to check. On the way back through, I'm sure the American side will be fine because I'm not taking anything into their country again. Uh, and then going through Canadian Customs, it should be the part where it might get a little tricky. Uh, I'm sure they're going to ask questions. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, video any of that. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of rules about it, but I will definitely fill you in on the flip side as I'm heading back. Uh, also, I'll probably give you a little bit of a... Um, short video on the American side as I go to the UPS store, but other than that it's going to be uh, mostly an unboxing at some point of hopefully healthy live fish, and uh, until then uh, I will uh, not bore you with a long uh, ride, it should take me about an hour and a half altogether I suppose, I'm about a half hour into that now, and uh, I will see you uh, shortly. All right, enough of that. Uh, this is the UPS store. Uh, I left a little out of focus because, well, people's license plates and stuff like that. Anyway, this is Ogdensburg, and now I've picked up the package. It was very easy. Uh, you pay five bucks, and five dollars US, I should say, and uh, you get your package, and then uh, you head back. I mean, I was not even, a, well, I was close to a half hour uh, in Ogdensburg because uh, the thing I find most different between the US and Canada is signage. I mean, uh, trying to find signs of which street you're going on and so on and so forth is a little bit more difficult. Uh, so I went by the UPS store the first time and I had to pull in and did the unmail thing and asked someone for directions and uh, turned around and got there and uh, in and out pretty fast. And now I'm heading back across the International Bridge. This is over uh, the St. Lawrence. Uh, it's uh, kind of a cool bridge. Uh, and it's uh, kind of like a corrugated uh, metal, so it's really loud. Uh, so, well, again, I added it out the sound for that. So I'm coming up to the border here, and at this point I have no clue what kind of uh, reception I'm going to get or anything, but I know I can't film, so I'm going to turn the camera off. And here we are, like, seconds later. I mean, it was not difficult at all. The lady asked me how long was I out of the country and I said I was in, just at Ogdensburg about a half hour. She says uh, well, why were we there? I said I went to uh, pick up a package from a UPS store. She asked me what was in it and I said uh, aquarium fish. She asked me the value and I said $80 US and she asked me how many fish and I said 18 and then she said well have a nice day and that was the end of that. I was god I mean it was minutes, like, literally like one or two minutes, and then that was it. I'm not, obviously this is not the way it's going to be every time anyone tries to do this. I'm sure at some point 
Uh, they're going to tell you to pull over and uh, they're going to open up the package and have a look inside. But this is my first experience doing this. I'm kind of glad it went smoothly. Uh, it certainly makes it uh, much uh, more likely that I'm going to do this again. And here we are at the part where I was actually the most nervous. This is the actual box opening for these fish. Uh, like I said, they've been in transit for three days. Uh, obviously Michael's done this many times and uh, he hasn't had any difficulties, but this is my first time receiving a shipment that's been in transit for so long. I mean, I used to do trans shipping many years ago, and the longest I'd ever had anything in uh, a bag at that point was about 36 hours. So this is a, <laughs> this is a new experience for me. So here we go, opening up the box. Uh, Michael actually uses actual uh, insulation, which is uh, kind of funny and cool. And then uh, I'm going to open up the bag that they're tied into. And like I said, this is the part where I was uh, <laughs> had the most trepidation, let's say. But uh, we'll see here shortly. And then I look and I say, hey, they're all alive. You can see them swimming as soon as you open it up. And looking at them, this is like, wow, it was actually quite a relief for me. Because I really wanted this to work out. Uh, there's lots of things that Michael has and a few other uh, suppliers in the States have that I wouldn't mind getting a hold of. Which, considering the fact that I'm in the capital of Canada, I can't get here. Which is really dumb. But anyway, it's nice that they're all healthy. And I'm going to uh, do the acclimation part now. Which is, uh, well, very straightforward. I'm going to... Uh, uh, cut up the bags, uh, spill out the fish into this uh, white container, and then I'm going to slowly add uh, the aquarium water that they're going to come from. Or well, in this case, actually, uh, the system water. Uh, all the tanks I have that are uh, in this row are all in the same filtration system, so they all have the same water. And I'm going to uh, get them all set for that. And apparently I got a bunch of free water spray, too. Alright, there you go. They're all swimming. And they're all actually active, which is, like, surprising. I mean, they've been in the dark, and also, like I said, in uh, the same bag, same amount of oxygen for three days. You stick me in a bag of uh, limited air for three days, I don't think I'm going to come out looking this happy. And there you go. I'm not going to do the acclimation. I'm not going to film that. It's kind of boring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, their first day, like the first few minutes in the aquarium, and then I'm going to switch over to a week later after I've had a chance to fatten them up and everything. Uh, I'd like to let you know I didn't lose a single fish. They're all very happy and healthy. Here they are in the tank. And uh, like, thank you, Michael, for uh, actually a very good experience in this. I was actually quite surprised. I'm happy. And uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, this will be the end of this video. Uh, the last little tale, I should say again, is going to be them a week later. And the funny thing about them is, uh, right now they don't know who I am. I'm just some dude. But uh, once uh, they've been there a week, they know I'm the one who feeds them. And you can see a difference in their attitude, which is kind of cool. Anyway, like I said, thank you again for watching. Uh, please like or and or subscribe as you feel fit. Leave some comments, and uh, I hope to do this again. I definitely want to get some more fish. Uh, this is August now, so I want to get some more shipments in before uh, the cold winter hits, and obviously that's going to change how this all works out. So I'll see you in future videos, and uh, again, like I said, thanks. Those are happy fish, I tell you.